Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the fundamental counting principles. So this topic is an introduction for the grade 10 students who will be taking the permutation and combination this third quarter. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So we have here the definition of fundamental counting principle in which if you have A ways of doing event 1, B ways of doing event 2, and C ways of doing event 3, then you can find the total number of outcomes by multiplying A, B, and C. By the way, your A, B, and C are the number of different ways you can do a certain event. So here, in our fundamental counting principle, we have the formula A times B times C. But before we start doing this kind of formula or using this formula in solving this kind of problems, we have here the first problem wherein I will show you a tree diagram that can help us in solving this problem. We have here, Jim has three pairs of pants, two shirts, and three hats. How many different ways can he dress? So, the question here is, how are we going to find the number of ways that Jim can dress using these three pairs of pants, two shirts, and two hats? So first, we will try to use the tree diagram wherein these pants, we will label that as P1 for the first pair of pants. We have P2 for the second pair of pants and P3 for the third pair of pants. Wherein, we know that Jim has two shirts. So he has two choices. So for the shirts, we will be using S1 and S2. Wherein, those shirts can be paired with the first pant, second pants, and third pants. So we can have here shirt number one and shirt number two, wherein we can draw a line here connecting that Jim can use the first pants and the first shirt. And also, he can pair the first pants with the second shirt. And also, we can pair shirt number one and shirt number two with pants number two or with the second pants. So we can have here S1 and S2. And again, what we are doing here is we, will, we are using the tree diagram. So we can pair the second pants with the shirt number one and the second pants with the shirt number two. And also, we can also pair shirt number one and two with the third pants. So we have here shirt number one and here shirt number two. So aside from that, meron din siyang two hats. So we can also pair these two hats. We can name them as hat number one or first hat and hat number two. So here we have hat number one and hat number two. We have here hat number one and hat number two. And also here hat number one. So let me, you know, let me write this. Hat number one and hat number two. It will take a for a while, but later on I will teach you the fastest way on how to do it using the fundamental counting principle. Hat number two, hat number one. And hat number two, one, two, three, four. Hat number one, hat number two, hat number one, and hat number two. Wherein we can pair the first pant with the with the first shirt. At the same time, he can wear hat number one, and also the first pant with the first shirt and hat number two. And the pattern is like this. Okay. 
this is your tree diagram where in as you can see we're just finding the number of possible combination that Jim can wear the three pairs of pants the two shirts and the two hats and this is the outcomes this is your first outcome this is her second. We're in the first outcome, let me clarify. The first outcome is the combination of pants number one, shirt number one, and hat number one. And your second outcome is, is pairing or combining pants number one, shirt, shirt number one, and hat number two. For the third combination is that this pant number one, pants number one, can be paired with shirt number two and can be combined with hat number three. So this is our pattern. So this is your fourth, this is your fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleven, and twelve outcomes. All in all, we have twelve. 12 combinations. So, this is the way on how are we going to determine the number of ways that Jim can dress this kind of things using tree diagram. But using the fundamental counting principle, remember we have, we have 12 combinations. Using the fundamental counting principles, if you have A ways of doing event 1, B ways of doing event 2, and C ways of doing event 3, you can use this formula A times B times C. Wherein, we can get this 12 combination simply by using this formula. So you have 3 pairs of pants, that is 3, 2 shirts times 2, and 2 hats times 2. Wherein, 3 times 2 times 2, that is 12 possible ways. Jim can dress. Okay? So that is our first problem. And later on, in the next part of this video, I will give you another problem wherein we will be using directly this formula. Now let's have problem number two, wherein we will apply fundamental counting principles. So we have here, a new restaurant has opened and they offer lunch combos for 100 pesos. With the combo, with the combo meal, you can get one sandwich, one side, and a drink. And here are the choices. So imagine you're in a restaurant and you're given uh, this kind of promo wherein you can choose a combo for 100 pesos. And here are the choices. For sandwiches, you have the chicken salad, turkey, and grilled cheese. So you have three options. So you have three choices. For the side dish, for the sides, you have the chips, french fries, and this is a fruit cup. Fruit cup. So you have two or three choices. Okay, again, you have three choices for the sandwiches. You have the first one, salad. Second is turkey. Third is grilled cheese. For the sides, you have the chips, chips french fries, and fruit cup. And lastly, for the drinks, you are offered with soda or water. So you have two choices. Using fundamental counting principles, uh, our target here is to find the number of possible outcomes or choices you can make. Okay? And then choices you can make. Since we have three sandwiches and three di side dish and two drinks, so the formula is simply three times three times two. And there you have it. 3 times 3 is 9, times 2, that will give you 18 possible choices for the combos. So I hope you learned something from this video. And if you have any question about this topic and you have any suggested topic that you want me to discuss, you can comment down below so that I can see that. And let's try doing that topic. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. At hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat.
Bye-bye.